My name is Kara Mezek. I'm a branch assistant for the Wicomica Public Libraries at the Center Branch. And today, we're going to be making an autumn landscape using household products, especially Q-tips, as part of our cozy crafting program. So everything that you need for this craft can be bought at your local Walmart or maybe even a Dollar Tree. To start out, make sure that you have plenty of napkins. And these canvases are sold at Walmart and sometimes they're sold at Dollar Trees too. I have white, blue, and green temper theme. I also have a series of acrylics here, just a few. You can do this entire craft with temper paints, but it does help to have acrylics, which are also sold at Walmart. Q-tips. And something to put your paints on. And then you'll want to have something like popsicle sticks to help mix your paints. So when we have all our supplies, let's get started. So getting started, I'm going to take my blue temper paint and my tray. And I'm also going to put a little bit of blue again, but I'm going to blend it and lighten it up a little bit so we have some depth to our sky. The nice thing about the temper paints, it doesn't have to be perfectly blended because the flow is so nice that once we put it on our canvas, it'll open everything up. So I'm folding my napkin. Nice little pad here. I just have a little bit on the corners. And now you start at the very far corner of your canvas. And you want to make sure that you're moving your napkin in a wave. So when that dries, that's going to give our sky some dimension. I'm actually going to pause here and add more white because I want something brighter. And this is optional. This is not something you have to do. There we go. Now we have a nice light gray blue and we can blend that with our darker blue. So you see my napkin is starting to get some loose pieces at the top. It's fraying a little bit. This is perfectly okay. I'm just going to refold it here. Just flip over the other side. All right, so I'm stopping here.
So now I'm bringing in some green. I'm also going to lighten this one just a little bit. But if you have a nice green that you really like, you don't have to lighten this one. So for this, I'm going to be making some hills and some grass waves. So we're going to do the same process that we did for the sky, but this time we're going straight down, kind of like in the shape of a V. almost ready for our acrylics. So I'm starting with a nice cinnamon brown. Grab our Q-tips here. And sometimes if you have some that aren't so fine, you just twist the top really, really tight. So now I'm starting to make a tree. And be sure not to push too hard because if you push too hard, it'll muddy your Q-tip and you won't have this nice fine line that we're able to do here. I'm just using another Q-tip because regardless of how light I try, they are Q-tips and they are absorbent. So if they get too loose and too muddy, then our lines get too big. Okay, let's add some color. And again, you can use whatever colors that you want. I'm choosing a series of autumn colors. For this one, believe it or not, you actually want to try to put it 
as close together as possible. We're going to change this one just a little bit. So this time I'm actually grabbing several Q-tips and I'm not going to twist them. I want a nice, nice bright cluster. So the easiest way to do this, make sure we don't have too much, we just start at the top of our trees and we're doing strong pressure straight up, straight down. And I'm going to start by making a circle so I know how full I want my tree to be. And the way you fix this, if you have a cluster of paint that's too thick in one area, just take one or two q-tips and just re-dot it with their dry. It'll give you the same effect. So we just work our way in. You don't want to go too far in because you don't want to cover up all our branches. You want to have the nice blend of the dark brown and the nice bright colors. Alright, so we're going to stop there with that one. We're going to continue to the next one and then we'll add some pops of that nice red. Okay, we are almost done. And this part is optional too. If you like the blend of oranges, you don't have to add another color. I'm just doing a couple accents. And we are finished. Look at our beautiful canvas for autumn. And thank you so much for taking your time to join us and do some painting with the Wicomica Libraries. We will see you next time.